What's up guys? So this strategy I'm about to show you is going to make you a lot of money. Okay, it's actually pretty simple to understand. Um, doesn't use anything complex, no indicators, nothing like that. Um, you can use it on any time frame and it's going to make you money. Okay, I promise you. So let's go ahead, dive right into it, show you a few different examples, of different trades I took and exactly what this is. So what actually is it? Okay, it's, it's trading trend based on different time frames. Okay, and I'm about to show you exactly what that means, right? Now, before I show you an example, let me quickly show you, right? Uptrend, obvious, higher highs, higher lows, right? That's what defines an uptrend is when you have higher highs and higher lows. A downtrend, complete opposite, right? When you have lower lows, lower highs, that's when you know price is in a downtrend. Very simple, okay? Now, what I'm essentially trading, the strategy, is a change in trend, okay? So, at some point, you know, price is going to start going the other way. You know, at this point, we're seeing higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. And then we see a lower low, okay? And then we see a higher, oh, sorry, we see, we see a lower high. And then we see a lower low, lower high, lower low, right? This moment here is called a change in trend, okay? And you can identify this change in trend once we get that break of that lower low, excuse me, that higher low, right? In an uptrend, right? We get that break. Now you know price is shifted from an uptrend to a downtrend, right? But it works the same exact way the other way around, right? Price is in downtrend, then we go to an uptrend, right? How do we know when this break occurs and how to trade it? All we do is wait and see, okay, let's look at the last uh, higher low that was put in place here. Excuse me, lower high that was put in here. Once that breaks, you wait for the retrace. And if that holds and we break another high, now you know we're in an uptrend, okay? It's basically the same pattern as what they call a head and shoulders. Um, you know, with this being the shoulder right here, this being the shoulder, this also being the head. Uh, but it looks a little bit different. The structure is a little bit different, okay? So let me go ahead and show you two different examples on SPY. Okay, so SPY. Let's look at this day today. Let's go on the five-minute chart here, okay? So SPY, today we gap up. We have a demand zone down below at this 395, down to 394 area. Price comes down, hits demand as it's moving higher. Okay, very simple. Yes, using supply and demand, you easily could have gotten long right here, put a stop below, target above there, nice 1.6 hour trade, easy. Now, how do we get a better confirmation? How do we get a better entry? How do we use trend in our advantage? So let's zoom in, look at the smaller time frame in the five minute here. So you can see when price is coming down, we're in a downtrend, right? Short term, right? We make a low, we make a high, we make a lower low, lower high, lower low, right? I can zoom in out. You can see it's a very clear downtrend. So the price hits demand, and then what happens? We end up breaking this high right here, okay? We end up breaking that high. So let me go ahead and draw that again for you. We have that lower low, lower high, just like that. We end up breaking it, okay? And then we come back down, and we make a leg higher, come back down again, make another leg higher. So when I show you this pathway right here, you can see that the point where we get that change in trend, it's right here, right? As soon as we break that high, now we know buyers are going to be in control, right? The, the buyers that were buying down here were able to be stronger than the sellers that were selling right here, right? So that's a shift in trend. When you see that happen, you know that buyers are going to be in control. And that's the first sign that price is going to start going into an uptrend. Combine that with the fact that we're at a demand zone makes this an A plus setup, okay? So let me go ahead and close that out. So look here. Now where do you take the trade, right? Price is in the downtrend, we're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting, we hit demand, we wait, we get that break. Now we say, okay, now we know buyers are in control. Then what we do is simply wait for a pullback to get long. We wait for the pullback and price ends up moving higher, okay? Very simple, okay? You don't need to make it more complicated than this. You don't even need this demand zone here, right? You can just use trend, right? Up, downtrend, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. We break right here, right? So that's our break, okay? This becomes our new low that we're gonna expect to hold. So these buyers, we're gonna expect these buyers to hold here, make that green. We get a pullback down to a demand zone, okay? Just like that. So if you wanted to, on a risk reward basis, get long at this demand, but stop below that low, we could first target the high that we just made, 1.4R, and target, target the high up here in this liquidity. Then you could target this supply zone all the way up here, just like that. We actually tapped it perfectly, 
came back down to demand, went higher. Now, if you miss this move, which a lot of times people do, right? Sometimes this price will just keep sprinting up and no pullback will come. All you can do is wait for the next leg. And that's a very, very solid trade you can do, right? So let me go ahead, show you this, draw this out again. Price does something like this. Lower low, lower high, just like that. Boom, like that, and like that. And if I draw this out, show you right here. If you miss this entry right here, you can wait for another pullback down to this demand, right? And then you can, you can get long with stops below this low. You don't need to put your low down, or your stop down here, right? You can change it at the next low that was formed before. And you still get a good risk reward trade. And so that's exactly what you did, okay? And now I'm gonna show you another example that literally happened today on SPY, okay? We're gonna go on the one minute chart. Again, you don't need anything, no indicators, nothing, okay? All you need is just a naked chart and understand of trend, okay? One minute chart. Price at the beginning, pretty choppy, kind of up and down. Now we start to see a real trend form here. Right, we get this lower lows, lower highs, just like this. And then boom, right here. Okay, I'm just gonna draw it out all the way through so you can see every move, okay? Basically just drew this into a line chart, right? All you're doing is waiting. When price is going down, you're not doing anything. You're just waiting for change. You're waiting for trend to change because that's when you know there's opportunity available, okay? When do we see that happen? We see, does this high break this one? No. Does this high break this one? No. Does this high break this one? No. Oh, wait a second. This high breaks this one. Okay. So now we know, excuse me, this low is significant. Okay. This is a significant low, which means buyers here were able to outbid and be stronger than the sellers right here. And when you see that, you know there's a change in trend. So you know you can start to look for longs when that happens. And that's exactly what happened, right? just like this. Price goes lower, we end up breaking that high, right? That was the last high that we had in place. Now we know this low, the buyers here are stronger than the sellers here. We have a change in trend. Price comes down, we pull back. Let's see where we pull back to. Um, yeah, pull back right to the 0.5, right near 0.618 Fibonacci retracement. Again, you don't need Fibonacci, you can just wait for a pullback down to demand, down, you know, wherever you want, honestly. As long as you get a good risk reward, obviously. So you can get long down here, just like this. Put your stop below that low because we are expecting this low to hold. Then you just target liquidity, okay? And liquidity is always gonna be found at those highs. Remember those highs I was drawing on that downtrend, just like that. So let me show you this. So these highs right here, that's where you wanna be targeting, okay? That's liquidity. So we see that, price ends up taking all that out. We end up going higher for the rest of the day. Okay, that's all it is. You don't need to overcomplicate it, okay? Again, I don't have any indicators. I don't use, you don't even need volume. You don't need anything. All you need is a naked chart and you can trade this exact strategy and make money from it. It works on any ticker, any time frame. All you have to do is understand who's in control. Is stock making a higher high and higher low or a lower low and a lower high? If you can understand that, you're gonna make a lot of money in the stock market, okay? Now, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to join my private mentorship group, I have a few more spots um, at the end of the month here. So all you have to do is click that first link in the description below. You can go ahead and apply. I only accept about 15 people a month. Um, I don't give you alerts. I teach you how to be a self-sufficient trader in about eight weeks without relying on alerts and trading more than one hour a day. So very simple, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't. Um, and also comment other videos I should make. I'll go ahead and do that for you. And follow me on Twitter as well. I post a lot of good content on there. Uh, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.